maybe based on their preparation or if they were ready. We've been having problems with a couple guys not quite being mentally ready and whether that's nerves of starting or not starting. Uh, we've been kind of moving it around. I think we'll continue to move it around. I mean, obviously, when you got guys like Rob and Steve, you know, they pretty much solidify themselves day in and day out. And then, you know, Elias is, is such a talent and, and able to score that, uh, you know, that's uh, somebody that we need out on the floor for long stretches of time. But, uh, you know, the rest is, is up in the air. All right. Chris from the Spokane Valley, thanks a lot. And keep those questions coming. Here's what's coming up next on the Mark Few Show. Coach Hughes walking by the office one day, and I said, hey, look at this kid. And showed him the clip of him breaking a backboard. And he's like, oh, yeah, that, get that kid. We need, more, we need somebody who can break a backboard. Assistant coach Tommy Lloyd talks international recruiting. But first, our Yokes Fan of the Week. And it goes to Jim Kreitz, or we also know him as... Jolly old Santa Claus enjoying the Xavier game on Wednesday night. Stop by the Gonzaga display of participating Yokes Fresh Markets to pick up your Gonzaga game day supplies. Foods perfect for watching the game. One lucky shopper each week will win tickets to see the Zags live. That's the Gonzaga game day supplies promotion only at Yokes Fresh Markets. Stay right there. It's Toyotathon time, and Burien Toyotathon means 2.9% on every Toyota certified. Hurry. Of Martinique. It continued with players like Matisse Kaida and Mattis Merninghoff and Elias Harris. Here's John Fritz with the great international recruiter, Tommy Lloyd. Anyone, anytime, anywhere. It is a mantra that's helped Gonzaga mark its own spot on the map. Go baseline now, 10 foot shot, good! Fitting not only for the style the Zags play, but also the fashion in which they find their players. Recruiting by canvassing not only our country, but any that might hold enough talent to help. Sometimes you do it out of a, a matter of necessity. I mean, you know, fortunately, we have an established network over there, and I can go over there and filter my way through a few guys and, and kind of compare and contrast them to the kids that, that we potentially could get over here. Assistant coach Tommy Lloyd knows as well as anyone the value available worldwide, starting with the most famous of his finds. Roni was a little bit different. I mean, I was... You know, I was a graduate assistant, doing it all on film. You know, in the European Championships, when Roni's team won it, I mean, it must, I don't know, 2000 or 99 or whenever they won it. It was on a great under-18 team with Tony Parker, Boris Diaw, Michael Pietrus, Roni. The semifinal game, Roni broke a backboard, dunked it, smacked the backboard, and on the smack it, it just shattered. Coach Few was walking by the office one day, and I said, hey, look at this kid. And he's like, oh, yeah, that, get that kid. We need, more, we need somebody to break a backboard. That, that, that's the story. In the years since, Lloyd's knowledge and network has been instrumental in expanding the Bulldogs' boundaries. Maybe luck had a little bit to do with it. I mean, you know, I don't want to overanalyze it, you know, but it was just, uh, I guess, just over the course of time, you develop a network in, in people that you trust and they trust you. And so... When there's somebody in their area that they think is good enough, you know, they tell you. And then, then it's up to me to figure out if, it's, if we need that or, you know, if it fits. This season, six players on the roster are from outside the USA. Three hail from Europe, including Germany's Elias Harris. You know, Elias was a very unique one. I mean, you're talking about... A kid that talented, that was a uh, hundred percent an amateur, had never played for another club beside his small little hometown club he played on his whole life, and uh, you know wanted to go to America the whole time because his dad is American, but really didn't know how to do it. So he didn't he didn't have a bunch of people working on his behalf trying to get him exposure. It just kind of happened through one of my coaching friends in Germany. You know he told me there's a young player in his area that you know. You know, this, it's a good-looking prospect, and when I heard the last name Harris, I kind of started putting it together that, you know, he's probably got some American ties. And, I mean, I heard about it on a Tuesday, and I was over there doing a home visit 
you know, by Friday. I mean, that's how fast it happened. A global approach is nothing new at GU, where reaching out overseas helps keep its own corner of college basketball's map intact. All right, time for a final timeout. But first, our Subway Sub of the Week. And it goes to that freshman Frenchman, Matisse Kaida. 22 minutes, five points. He hit the big three. But it was his defense, his defense, his defense that earns him the honor this week. Way to go, Matisse. Make sure to visit your local Subway restaurant today for one of the new Subway melts, like the Chipotle chicken and cheese, stacked with tender, juicy chicken and fresh toasted on flatbread. Only at Subway restaurants, proud sponsors of the Gonzaga Bulldogs. It, it's awesome, for real, because, especially because my parents were there. It's the first game that they, that they see, so it's really nice. It's really, really nice. For some banks, customer satisfaction is an idea, a concept, a perennial agenda item that never really becomes an action item. But for one bank, it's a little more, well, tangible. Sterling Savings Bank, ranked the highest customer satisfaction with retail banking in the Northwest region by J.D. Power & Associates. Satisfied? Tomorrow, conference scoring leader Clay Thompson leads Washington. And welcome back to the Mark Few Show. All right, Coach, uh, the schedule again. It's back to the schedule. Three games a we week. We just enjoy Christmas. Uh, seriously. I mean, geez, does it not end? But uh, Lafayette, Oak State, Wake Forest. Uh, yeah. Lafayette, let's be honest, you should win. It'll be a test, but you got Oak okay, State, Wake uh, Forest. Let's not go there. Okay, <laughs> first of all, we're not in position to walk out and win anything. I mean, they're a team that's picked to win their league yeah. in all the preseason publications. They got a lot of guys back, uh, do a nice job of executing their offense and, and uh, shooting the ball. And, uh, you know, uh, we have a, a situation where we got uh, three games in a week, Lafayette, and then Oak State comes in here. Oak State's another uh, team on our schedule. Looks like an NCAA tournament team. Is off to a really good start. Has a couple of, of great players. The Moses kid is, is uh, just dominating inside, so that'll be a real big test for us there. And Keaton Page is a great shooter on the uh, on the perimeter, and then we have a really quick turnaround, uh, you know, to go fly all the way across the country to go play at Wake Forest, and I think it's a 10 a.m. start uh, Spokane time. So uh, it, it's a big test. We've got some momentum brewing a little bit here. You know, we really have to have a couple of really really good practices and and, and get our execution back after taking a little bit of a break and keep our defense at the level it's been at you know these last couple games and and then uh see if that momentum uh, uh can carry us into into league you know the following week and can you give us an update i mean how close was steven to playing against xavier he, well, he was not close not he, all, he just has not been able to move uh you know we're, we're trying everything we got the greatest set of doctors around and kelly pearson uh there isn't anybody better with back uh uh, injuries or anything like that. I mean, I have total trust in, in her. She's phenomenal. And then we even tried out a little bit of acupuncture, and, and that helped some. But he just could not move. He has not been able to move since that uh, game. So, I'll, you know, I think over the course of the break here, I think we'll be able to get him in the pool and, and get some things going there. And, and uh, you know, I, I, w I would hope he'd be ready to go by then. Happy holidays, Coach. Same to you. Feels Last good week in Aspen, pretty a, nice, hadn't it? Yeah, it's, it, it's getting better. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy holidays to you, and we'll see you next week right here on the Mark Few Show.